What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another adventure out the Sunshine Skyway Fisher Pier. And guess what? The nets that we have and we just weren't getting anything. So we're gonna try tying on these sabikis, see if we can get some uh, some greenbacks right quick. So look who came out to the bridge guys. Hello. We got JC fishing and Brent out here. And let me tell you, hey look, we even got a So I've been out here for an hour guys, very frustrating, forgot the large net. We got a ton of small fry bait around, which is what we want for the snapper. However, uh, yeah, we're not we're not able to catch them because of the current. I'll catch them. So Brent's putting on this sabiki. He's gonna catch some pinfish. That's what he's gonna get, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get nothing but greenbacks. We just uh, JC, what is he catching? Uh, I'm going for 200 pound Goliath today on a 2500. Nice. Yeah. I'll tell you what, day, boys and girls, it is toasty. But that is to be expected in August. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Since the, uh, cast net thing's not working out for me right now. I'm gonna go ahead and try to sabiki up some with shrimp. Good old sabiki. Thing's older than snot. I've had it the last like 12 trips. Just tipping this with a little shrimp. Put it down here by the piling. Ow. That hurt. We might have to change out this water soon because I, I got it when I first got here and it's been over an hour. It's pretty hot. And they're all pooping probably. Yeah, those are, they're eating the fry baits. Those aren't like monsters. No, those are the babies. I'm not going to waste too much time if they ain't going to stick around. But, uh, yeah, so JC, to answer your question, no, that, yeah, le that leader is tiny. Yeah, that's I mean, it'll work though. Because no, you, you, need, you need a lot of it so that if it rubs in the rocks, it's, it's well, the mono rubbing out the leader or the main line, right? Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna hit it, take it right into the rock pile, and you don't want that braid to touch. Well, I usually use like 50 yards a top shot, but uh, like a 10 yard, 10 yard leader usually works fine. Ah, uh, watch this, boys. Y'all about to see a grouper. Okay. I wanted y'all to get the first one, but I don't. Hey. Know. Come on. So, whoever gets gets rigged up, put your bait out right here next to me. Okay. Wow, the tarpon are just <laughs> slamming little fry baits right here. You might want to drift that thing back there see if it eat. Josh! What? Oh, get over here. Oh, that's not gonna go up. Yeah, well. Shoot. Get him, Josh. No way. Well, baby. Oh, he's pumped up. I can't believe. I can't believe. Dude, you just whooped him. Uh, uh, Eat a small bait, big bait? That's the pinfish. I swear you're for a group. My GoPro is overheating too. 
hot day on the sky. Woo! That's a catch, boys. Yeah, you got him. Hey, that Kavala putting on some work. Yeah, you belly up. You whooped it, man. That's it. Two jumps? Yeah. Oh, three what jumps. Say? Three jumps? Sorry, he heard you. Three jumps. That was like a 40, 50. Boys and girls, I was freelining, and here's one of the things you can catch while freelining. You guys ask me all the time why I use J-hooks. This is why I use J-hooks. So my GoPro overheated. Brent got some of it, so you may be able to see some of that footage, but uh, my footage is done. We're gonna get him off of here, and I'll show you how to do that. That usually works. Oh, there he goes. He's going straight down. Yeah, give him a second. He's good. That worked. Josh? He just popped off. Good stuff, Josh. Yeah, man. Are we tarpon fishing now? I guess we're tarpon fishing. Hey. No, hey, we, man. Oh, it's stuff. Good job. Oh. 20 minutes later. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we are out here. I got the Akuma here. Kavala. You gotta be kidding me. We got a porpoise. Already got a porpoise. Ugh. So, these fellas didn't know that you could spin the net and catch bait. So I taught them the spin method, and now they're both excited. We're gonna watch them do it. Oh, it's like it's satisfying. It's like uh, I haven't done exciting. it yet. For everyone watching, I haven't done it yet, so don't make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta watch you do it first. All this right, is, JC. JC's been practicing I'm for on, about five hours. I'm on hours. spotlight. Hopefully. Listen, this is you are hopefully, spotlighted in. Hopefully, this opens up. Yeah, oh, the bait's right. everywhere. There are some of them. Yeah. Bait is everywhere. So the key is you got a wide spins and then just pop straight up. You get those little pilchards right there. Alright, just so everybody knows this is like my seventh time doing this. So this is just so heavy. Ready? <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. Now pop up. That left side didn't open up. Oh, we got our fish. No. Dang. That thing is so heavy. Yeah, well, you, that'll you. wear you down. See, Brent ain't been spinning that net. I've been doing it all morning, guys. I'm, oh, I'm him. dead. Oh, I got him. Oh, he got him. Ooh. First try. We're just going to have Brent do this. Uh, don't worry, guys. You're welcome. I came. If Brent didn't come, I don't guess we would have caught anything. Just throw him in? Yeah. Come on, JC. Uh, what are you doing? I'm pulling the net up. How are you going to let Brent show you up like that? <laughs> um, Beginner's luck. Beginner's look. Yeah, that, that's uh, a thing, right? Look, yeah. I didn't get any. Yeah. Look at that. I opened it up too. Didn't get any. Terrible. They're all gonna be transitioning over. We gotta get a. Should bomb. I move over to the right a little bit? Yeah, get it. Throw it where they're thick. Throw it where they're thick. New T-shirt. Quick update. Tide switching to go out. Brent, JC, been spinning the net for a minute. We're gonna go try to get these snapper chummed up. Stay tuned. So I am rigging up my snapper rig. I just showed you guys this not too long ago, but I'll show you again. Gonna go Carolina, all right. Put on my little half ounce weight. Got me some Spro swivels. Now, you just wanna make sure you're tying this properly so it don't slip. I like the improved clinch knot, just make sure you double it up. All right, trim your tag. And then got me some 25 pound soft steel. You can even go down to 20, but you're gonna get broke off. Actually, I have no more of that in there. Out, let's see what else. 
all out of my saw still but i got my spro here and this stuff is awesome guys um i love this pink fluorocarbon by them and i, I even love the, the little uh, container they have on here it just like stops the line you can put it right here and it'll hold the line right there for you all right now i'm gonna again tie another improved clinch knot on here ties beautifully yeah i'm gonna go on my beautiful gamagatsu box get me a little 2 gamagatsu circle hook these are the uh, nautilus circle hooks absolutely beautiful i mean they're chemically sharpened very very strong they do the job very well all right, so now I got an extra long leader on here, by the way. I'm just gonna tie this with another improved clinch now. Tighten her down. Josh, you ready to show us up? Not at all, boys. Yeah. I'm just trying to catch a fish. Sure. If I catch a snapper, I'll be happy. Because yeah. I already got a poon with no footage. I got some footage of you. I know, he's like, I'll sell it to you. Yeah, it's on my camera if you want, and I charge $2 a minute. Look, Tell so it to me, and I'll, I'll charge him. $2 a minute? That's pretty cheap. I might take that. <laughs> you kidding? Because <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> All right, so the tide is barely, right now, it's literally blowing down the bridge, as you can see with this grass. So the wind's overpowering the tide. We're going to get some of these baits cut up and get them ready, and then we're going to start sprinkling them out there. See that? Brent's getting all excited, guys. So now, our little bitty greenbacks are perfect. We don't overfeed them. Just beautiful. Oh. Just get them nice and comfortable, right, Josh? Right. Just, just chum get them. Till they're done. Just chomp till they're done. You, you learned about that on the boat, man. Oh yeah. They I also learned that if you don't have your drag lock, you, you're fixing to get screwed. Man, I told you. I'm sitting there watching that video, and I'm like. Make sure you don't give them anything. Lock it all down. And man. I still lost some. It's he's, the name of the game, bro. He still took it. What are we like? That's a snapper no, bite right no, there. No, no. That was a snapper bite. Come on, Brent. See if I can go extra light real quick. Damn, dude, he's hammering that thing, Brent. Like, are you gonna let him swallow it? Oh, how we're we gonna do this? Are you recording? Yeah. Did you get that on video? Yeah. Me getting snagged and then, or me having his line and then him getting hit while oh, yeah. and then the line came off his line. You think that's grouper? Oh, it's a grouper. He's in the rock pile. Are you gonna land in the bush? Probably not, not with this porpoise here. Damn, he is out. Damn, yeah, where is it? Where is it? Where is this stupid dolphin? No, what happened? What do I have here? There was a fish on here, it took my line. So I either have someone's line who has a fish. I either have. Yeah, I have someone's line who has a fish on it. Are you serious? See, the grouper got broke off on somebody's line and ate your bait, and the line got. What? How does that work? There's a line coming. It's like goes all the way down to the line. Dude. I'm so confused because my weight. I can feel the fish on here still. Wow. Well, that'll be all over the. 
the pile on top of everything else that's out there. Yeah. Let's go down. This isn't really the rock pile I wanted to fish. Guy. Huh? Dolphin down there. Oh, he's gone. He's dolphined. He's dolphined real, real faster, faster. He got it. He just got it. That was a big snapper. I'm about to fight this dolphin to the get him. Get him. That was a big that was a big big snapper. That was a big snapper. They don't eat hooks, they're smart. Was, like, as soon as I saw that dolphin, I'm like, now I'm going to get bit. So frustrating. That was a good snapper. Too. That was a big one. Yeah. Again, it was one of those, and this are going. All right, let me move it. That's just, like, that's Skyway for you. I was beat. So I'm not going to show you a bunch of unnecessary footage, guys, but we kept getting just completely harassed by these porpoises and we literally moved like four times and they'd follow us every to every spot and we were like again we were only fishing with greenbacks this time we were fishing for snapper and what they were doing is once we got the snapper fired up on the spot they would stay in that area and wait for us to hook one just to eat the snapper and we finally just got so frustrated it was so hot that we we're like screw this we're out of here and that's why it ended abruptly and that's what ex exactly what happened with the snapper fishing there's a window that it's really really good and it's right at that transition tide so unfortunately we couldn't escape the dolphins and once that tide started picking up the bite kind of slowed down anyway but that's exactly what happened guys make sure you give brent and jc a follow um, if you like this video please give a thumbs up comment subscribe also guys if you like different tutorials and things check us out on tiktok at Salty Scales and my personal Instagram, Captain underscore Joshua underscore Taylor. You're going to see a lot of different stuff behind the scenes and things like that that you won't see on YouTube. So, again, guys, make sure you turn on the bell notification. And uh, if you have something you want to see, comment below. Till next time, we'll see you on the water.